In recent years, the tech industry has been witness to a significant global controversy surrounding Huawei, one of China's leading telecommunications and technology giants. This controversy primarily revolves around Huawei's involvement in the development and deployment of 5G technology in various countries, particularly in Europe and the United States. In order to understand the intricacies of this situation, we must delve into the background of the issue. The United States has been at the forefront of efforts to curb Huawei's development in the European and American markets. They have adopted stringent chip control measures against Huawei, effectively limiting the company's access to critical semiconductor technology. Moreover, the United States has cited national security concerns as a primary reason to rally its allies against Huawei, urging them to boycott Huawei's 5G construction plans and dismantle existing Huawei equipment within their network systems. This campaign against Huawei is not exclusive to the United States. It has gradually spread across Europe, with many European countries implementing bans on Huawei equipment and making plans for its dismantlement. This collective action has had a profound impact on Huawei's operations and partnerships in these regions. One of the notable cases is the United Kingdom, where British telecom operators have voiced their concerns about the ban on Huawei equipment. They argue that this ban not only impedes the rapid development of 5G networks, but also results in substantial economic losses. Replacing Huawei equipment alone has cost British Telecom up to 500 million pounds, with potential future losses estimated at a staggering 3 billion pounds. The question that arises here is why the UK is so determined to dismantle China's 5G equipment after losing access to the European market. The answer lies in the initial enthusiasm the UK had for Huawei's 5G technology. Huawei's advantages, such as faster data transmission speed and lower latency, aligned with the UK's goals of promoting innovation, digital transformation, and sustainable development. At first, British authorities believed that 5G technology would provide opportunities and competitive advantages for British businesses and public services. Over the years, Huawei had managed to secure a dominant position in the British telecommunications equipment market, occupying over 60% of it. In terms of infrastructure, Huawei contributed significantly, providing around 12,000 of the 18,000 communication base stations in the UK. However, starting in 2023, the British government announced a ban on the use of Huawei equipment and initiated a comprehensive dismantling process. According to Howard Watson, BT's chief security and network officer, the decision to dismantle these 12,000 5G base stations would cost the company £500 million, equivalent to approximately $600 million. In response, Huawei cancelled its original plan to invest £1 billion in the UK. Furthermore, British officials have raised concerns about the local network technology equipment's inability to match Huawei's 5G network speeds, potentially hindering the development of the British digital economy. The removal and replacement of Huawei's 5G equipment are projected to result in direct or indirect losses of up to £3 billion in the UK over the next decade. Germany, another European nation, has also considered dismantling Huawei's 5G equipment used in their networks. However, the German government has approached the issue with caution. A report by Deutsche Bahn estimated that a complete dismantling of 5G equipment could result in losses of approximately $500 million. Moreover, replacing this equipment could lead to network delays of up to six years, potentially harming Germany's competitiveness in the digitalization field and causing significant economic and technological innovation setbacks. Germany took the step of retesting its domestic Huawei equipment to reevaluate the United States' concerns about Huawei harming national network security. According to the results from German institutions, Huawei's equipment was deemed safe and reliable. Although Germany has not yet fully embraced the use of Huawei equipment, this might be attributed to pressure from the United States or a wait-and-see approach to gauge other European countries' stances. However, 
It's important to note that the European countries' positions on Huawei's 5G equipment have largely been influenced by the United States. This dynamic leaves Huawei searching for new opportunities in markets. One region where Huawei has turned its attention is Africa. Several African countries have welcomed Huawei's 5G technology and have engaged in partnerships for its deployment. For instance, Uganda has been actively using Huawei equipment to build 5G networks and promote industrial internet projects. This cooperation has extended to launching a 5G commercial project for a cement company in Uganda, marking a significant milestone in Uganda's 5G deployment. The success in Uganda is not isolated. Huawei has been actively involved in building 5G networks in other African countries as well. According to records from the first African 5G summit held in Bangkok, Thailand in November 2022, multiple African nations, including South Africa, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Seychelles, Ethiopia, and Nigeria, have announced the launch of 5G services. Subsequently, Zambia, Egypt, Ghana, Mauritius, Madagascar, and more are either preparing or have activated 5G networks, with the majority opting for Huawei's 5G equipment. The introduction of China's 5G technology into African countries carries several significant implications. Chief among them is the potential for increased business opportunities and economic growth. High-speed, reliable internet connections can drive digital economic development fostering areas such as e-commerce, online payments, and electronic finance. Additionally, the high-speed and low-latency characteristics of 5G technology can revolutionize education and healthcare. Distance education and telemedicine can thrive, breaking geographical barriers and offering quality education and medical services to remote areas of Africa. In stark contrast, European countries' cautious approach to Huawei's 5G equipment has led to slowdowns and stagnation in 5G network construction in many regions. As a result, many African countries are poised to surpass European nations in terms of 5G network development speed. This situation underscores the critical importance of global cooperation and mutual understanding when advancing digital technology. In building a digital future, Countries must strengthen dialogue and collaboration to collectively address technological challenges and security risks. Only through such concerted efforts can we achieve a more stable, secure, and prosperous digital era.